Hi, I wanted to come on here today and talk about the Divine Masculine upgrade that's going to be taking place over the course of the next two years. A while back, I did a video about a union timeline for Twin Flames, and I just wanted to add in a few details that I think are relevant and would be good for the collective to know this. In that video, I talked about how the Divine Feminines had a two-year period or so, roughly. Remember, it's nothing is ever exact, so we always have leeway. The Divine Feminine energy had been heavily worked on for a roughly around a two-year period, and this was for all of the feminine energy, right? So within each person, there is both masculine and feminine energy, but those that are predominantly in the feminine polarity were heavily worked on. And we have just recently entered into a period where the divine masculines now, and just masculine energy in general, is having an overhaul. It's having its awakening, you could say. And going from the wounded masculine into divine masculine energy. So this is also going to be felt throughout the divine feminines and throughout the collective in general with this masculine energy going from wounded masculine to divine masculine energy. But those, again, that are predominantly in the masculine polarity will be really, really experiencing this at its fullest, basically. The video I did on the Union timeline was a good one, so I would recommend going back and watching that if you haven't watched it yet because it will give you a lot more details about this uh, Union timeline and what's kind of taken place and what's going to take place, basically. So I will leave that linked up in the description box below so you can check it out. So what I want to discuss here today is just a little bit of uh, extra details here that are beneficial. The most masculine element is fire. So what we're going to see over the next two years here, particularly, could go on a little bit longer, but that's okay. There's always a leeway. But basically what we're going to see is that every time it's fire season, so we had it begin on that very powerful solar eclipse in March, which was Aries season, We've just had another hit of this masculine energy now with Leo season. We had a tremendously big lion's gate this year. It was two, if not three times bigger than the previous year. It was a very big one. And that energy is going to push us in and carry us through to the next lion's gate. So if you can remember how much you've grown in the last year, you can just amplify that and multiply it basically by two or three because it's going to be a very big, a very powerful year. And then the next big hit of this masculine energy is going to be in December, which is going to be Sagittarius season. So we're about to enter into the eclipse season. Things are going to be progressing along. And then, boom, we're going to get hit with another really big hit of this masculine energy that's going to come in in the Sagittarius season. And then this is going to start again the next year. So again, we have, we'll start again with Aries, you know, in March. Boom, we'll have Lion's Gate, and then we'll have Sagittarius season. So every fire season is going to be intense. It's going to be an intense season. The most intense season for the next two years is going to be in the fire signs of Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. This is what we can count on. We have moved out of the planets being mostly in earth and water, and now the planets are predominantly in air and fire signs. This is a completely different energy. So earth and water is slow and progressive. So we used to have longer breaks between these sort of powerful moments, right? These uh, cosmic alignments, these portals, um, you know, these big energy shifts that were happening would come in, there would be longer intervals between them basically because of this slow but progressive energy of earth and water. Like I said, we've moved into air and fire signs predominantly. Well, air is quick, right? It's mental. It's quick. And then we have 
the fire signs, which is powerful. So what we have for the next two years here and, and beyond, really, but it's going to be intense, really, for the next couple of years because of this um, this process that's taking place. And so what we can expect is things quickening up, right? We know that the age of Aquarius is a quickening. And this is because of it's that air energy. It's quick. It's quick, but it's also powerful because of fire. So we have, you know, like I always say, it's not just the age of Aquarius. Aquarius is always connected to Leo. These two are like one and the same. They go together. They are always connected to each other. And so this energy of air and fire is going to be quick and powerful. Boom, boom, boom. Everything's going to be layered upon itself. So there's not going to be a lot of breaks between these intensities because it's really where we're at. We're in that quickening. And so I just wanted to put that into the collective that over the next couple of years, we can count on the fire seasons being extra intense, right? So it's all going to be intense. <laughs> it's all going to be moving quickly, but just count on those fire seasons as being extra powerful, right? Because once they come in, it's going to be a burst of this energy. And essentially what it's doing for the masculines, it's really going to be giving them a hit, a dose of powerful masculine energy, the energy from the sun, the masculine fire energy, they're going to be getting doses of this. You know, they had a big dose in March in Aries season. We just got a big hit in this Leo season. The next one will be Sagittarius season. And like I say, this whole year, it's just going to be absolutely doubled, if not tripled for the amount of growth that's going to happen. And then we're going to just do that all over again next year too, year of the snake. So this, you know, this year was sort of just ushering that all in. We had that solar eclipse. We're in the year of the dragon. We have just transitioned into air and fire. We're in the age of Aquarius. We're in the quickening. And so we can count on now for these fire seasons to be very powerful. And this will keep pushing the masculines into their divine energy rather than the wounded energy. So they are going to be pushed into that basically, just like the, the divine feminines were pushed into it, right? We didn't have much choice. It was happening to us and it still is. We're still on the journey and we are still, you know, doing what we have to do, healing, growing and supporting the community. We have mostly stepped up to be helpers, to be helping others um, on this awakening process, as well as maintaining high vibration. And this is a really great time for Divine Feminines to be supporting all masculines out there. They really do need your support. It doesn't have to be limited to your own Divine Masculine. This has been happening to me quite frequently lately, is that I'm getting a lot of masculines that are coming in and they're coming in for healing. They're coming in to be supported because they are, you know, going through a very big process, you know. They are uh, getting rid of watching porn. They are going on a path of celibacy. They are really trying to heal parts of them that have been wounded for a very long time. They are coming to deep realizations and they are reaching out to anybody who will hear the call, basically, and will actually be there and support them and not judge them, but will actually be a place where they can be seen, they can be heard, they can be supported. And so this can be a really great thing to do. If you're maybe your divine masculine isn't around right now and you but you can still support others. And even if your masculine is around, you can still support others on this journey. Because remember, this is a collective, right? We are all in this thing together. And the more people that you can support, you're actually helping yourself too, right? So we should really have that mindset of being there to support others, to, to really just help as many people as we possibly can, regardless of it's, if it's your own twin or not right? If you're in union with your twin, amazing, doesn't mean it has to stop there. That's the whole thing is that the, this journey doesn't end, right? It's not a, there's no ending to the journey. If you have got union, well, you should be helping others to get into union too, you see? 
You can be helping other masculines. You can be helping other feminines. This is what New Earth is about. It's about supporting and helping. If you see somebody that needs help, well, you just do it. You just, you know, you got to have that willingness to be of service. You got to be uh, willing to help others when needed and to really just put your efforts into the collective to, yeah, to basically assist. That's really what we are truly here for. So maybe you've gone through the whole union process. Well, keep going, <laughs> keep going. What can you do now? Can you uh, help support some others, right? Because right now it's all hands on deck. We all need to have that mindset and that willingness to really step up our game, to be there for whoever comes our way, um, you know, to be of help, to be of support, um, to, to anyone possible and to be linking up, right? The more that we link up with others and the divine is guiding, you know, these masculines to the feminines or maybe to other masculines, who knows, you know, it just depends on, you know, their own soul and their own journey, but they are definitely coming my direction at the moment, like never before. So lots of masculines coming towards me and they really just are very vulnerable. They're very vulnerable. They are very wounded. They are, you know, they're wanting the change. They're wanting to do it, but they, they do need support. Like they're reaching out, right? They're reaching out for support. So this is a good chance and a good opportunity to really just help all masculines in any way, shape, or form, even if it's not your own. It doesn't matter if it's your your masculine. It, it doesn't matter if it's somebody else's masculine. Help them, right? They need help, so, and they need support. So I just highly recommend doing that at this time as well, if that, if that comes your way. I just wanted to put that out there, that it's a really a, a positive thing to be doing at this time as well. But anyway, I am going to finish off here for today. I am sending you so much love. I thank you so much for listening, and I will talk to you later. Bye!